What is up everybody? Dan Dan the Fireman here. We're gonna be talking about five signs you are a good motorcycle rider. If you're not hitting some of these, make sure you go out and, and remedy that, okay? So thank you to my patrons for making this possible. And thank you for making me a good motorcycle rider. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to take all these classes and, and uh, do this full time. So if you want to help support, it's only a dollar a month. Swing on by beginnermotorcycletips.com and you'll find the link. Anyways, all right, so you're already out riding. You want to see how good you are. You're on this checklist. Perfect. Thank you for being here. But if you're brand new, if you've never ridden before, you want to see what it takes to be a good rider, welcome to the Dan Dan the Fireman channel. And I'm glad you're here. We're going to go over some of these things and make sure you check out the other videos. All right, so number one, you rarely experience close calls. Now, I know a lot of motorcycle riders, especially beginners, they're like, man, this car almost hit me. This almost did this. I almost slipped. I fell. You know, all these things, close calls as in like either close calls and crashes or close calls as in, you know, dying, you know what I mean? So that, it, that should rarely happen if you're a good motorcycle rider. Good riders are able to predict the dangers that are about to happen to them. That's the huge thing. Good riders are about to predict the danger and that's from experience, number one. So if you're already riding out, you should have this experience. If you're not riding around, you learn this. You learn this in the MSF. You learn this in, in a motorcycle class. You learn this out here at Ride Arizona MTC. Anyways, you learn all that stuff. You really do, and, and it starts to uh, make it to where you start having less and less and less and less close calls. You start having less and less and less issues. You start riding a safe ride, and that makes you a good rider if you're riding a safe ride. Because if you're out crashing all the time, you're not a good rider, okay? So you want to predict these dangers before they happen. Gear is great and all. I talk about gear all the time, but how do you prevent the issues of crashing? Well, you have to have, ah, a bug hit me. You have to have good experience, or you have to know exactly what you're doing, okay? I said good experience. If, you had, if, you have a, if you're really good at bad stuff, you're gonna be really good at bad stuff. If you practice bad behaviors, you're gonna be really good at bad behaviors. Let's practice good behaviors, let's practice good things, let's prevent things. You have to have good visual habits. See these eyeballs? See these eyeballs? Don't recommend doing that because you don't want a bug in your eye while you're riding. Anyways, you have to have good visual habits. Who here has heard the, the phrase of head on a swivel? You're constantly doing this, head on a swivel. That's very important. Now do that with your eyes too. Const like, do this with your eyes. I don't want to open my, okay, whatever. Do that with your eyes. So right here, I'm constantly looking ahead and I'm also looking here. Looking ahead, looking down, looking down, looking up, looking up, da, 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 da. Doing this, look at the mirror, look at this, look at this, look at this, look for any debris, nope, nope, nope. I'm constantly doing that, constantly. And it's the visual part. So I'm seeing all this stuff, but then I'm also materializing it in my brain. And then if I have to, I can act. So you can't just act randomly. You have to see the danger ahead of time. We teach that in the MSF. Once again, take a class, you're gonna learn all these things, but I'm constantly, see right there, it's like this is a blind turn, I gotta have both hands on the handlebar. Constantly reacting to these different things. See all this debris that's coming out on the road? Very important to, to make sure you see that before a danger happens to prevent the issues. You have to scan the scene and determine the likelihood of a problem developing. So cross traffic, problem developing, turns right here, problem developing in a turn. Maybe my tire slides out if I apply too much. Maybe I slam the brakes and my tire flies out. We talk about that in the live streams that we do cross traffic I'm constantly scanning these things constantly and I know I ride with one hand I talk with one hand all the time I do that so I there's no reason to do it I just do it don't do it if you're new to riding <laughs> see right here cross traffic scanning for I don't this guy's gonna go for it this guy's gonna go for it oh he applied the brakes right at the last second I mean she did Notice how I saw that right there? I saw that car wanting to scoot up, wanting to do that. I think I'll do a replay of it while I'm talking. But see how it wanted to scoot up? Well, the next one is you rarely have pucker moments when cornering or at intersections. Cornering and intersections are the most dangerous places for motorcyclists. Most dangerous places. That intersection was dangerous and it included a corner. Twice as doubles and dangers and stuffs, okay? So you need to watch out for that. I didn't have a pucker factor. I didn't have a pucker moment. I didn't have nothing. I saw it ahead of time because I was scanning my horizons. I was putting myself in a good position. I could be up on this truck's ass right now if I wanted to, but I'm giving myself a nice space cushion. All these different things. So cornering and intersections, when you start making mistakes with speed, you start making mistakes with braking, you start making mistakes with skills, you start making mistakes with your eyeballs, that's when you start having the, oh crap, oh crap, 
oh crap moments. So cornering and intersections provide most of the fatalities. And when I say provide, I mean they account. Because <laughs> providing sounds terrible. They account for most of the deaths. They, it's very dangerous. So right here, Colossal Cave Road. I'm going to put my blinker on. And I'm going to set myself for... I don't know if this person's paying attention. I'm gonna set myself up over here. I'm still in my lane, but if they crash, they're gonna hopefully crash into the Nissan. Oh, let's go into second gear. Alrighty, yeah, yeah boy. So I'm gonna watch for this right here. This is a curve. A lot of people ride like dum dum. So I'm scanning to my left, scanning up here, scanning my left, looking at my mirrors, scanning up here, make sure there's no debris. This is a blind turn over the hill. Through traffic, merge left. So that means I gotta merge over here, make sure I have enough room. Boom, boom, use my blinker, turned off my uh, blinker. Now I'm over here, make sure I maintain the speed limit. See all these different things? I, I can't even talk fast enough. I do all these things like subconsciously quick and that's what you guys gotta do. I already skipped this one. So you're an expert at reading the road. So we talked about all this stuff. We talked about all this stuff. I'm gonna pull over to Chevron and fill up my gas tank. Uh, we talk about reading the road, make sure there's no debris, making sure that there's all these different things. Twisted roads, blind curves are pretty dangerous, uh, especially since you can't see the gravel, you can't see any debris, you can't see any cars. Make sure you know how to read the road. Reading the road comes with experience, or you can give yourself a nice head start by taking a class. That's usually how all this will go. Take a nice class to give yourself a head start, or to expand on the stuff that you've learned, or just get a bunch of years of experience, and a lot of us don't have the time to do that. Oh, all right. So I heard you have to like sit on here to fill it up make it easy we'll figure it out I'm gonna do this first so good riders usually look at, at specific areas of the road for clues so like if, if it's off cambered cambered mean it's like instead of being level it's off a little bit we see little uh, clues so you'll see like one of the lines go down up or down and the other one go up not necessarily you can't you can't really see that in a curve with the the flat black very very well so you kind of see those different uh areas and if you start seeing traffic coming this way and they're kind of crooked it's a good way to understand that this is going to be a sharp turn you need to take it nice and easy so it's very important to do that it's very important to figure out all those things especially if you start seeing if you're on a mountain or something it's very very important if you start seeing a mountain and you see rocks on the ground and you see rocks like close to the side but they're not on the road yet just keep an eye out, you know, read the road. Maybe there's going to be some rocks up ahead on that blind turn inside the road to where now if I'm hauling ass, it's going to be in very dangerous situation. I, I don't know what I was about to say. It's going to be a very dangerous situation. So make sure you're paying attention to that stuff. So right here, I'm, I'm paying attention to all the oil markings. I'm paying attention to all the gravel. So that when I take off that way, I know that if I take off this way, there's going to be it's going to be a very sharp turn, almost a U-turn. So I can either take it wide or I can practice my slow speed maneuvering, but then there's also cross traffic. So all these things play into to safety, being hyper aware. If you're alert, there's a good chance you can stay alive. Okay, stay alert, stay alive. Number five, you need professional training. You, you need it. This, this, what we're doing here is, is, is highly dangerous. Okay, you need professional training. If you wanna be a good motorcycle rider, you can't practice bad habits. If you practice bad habits, if you spend a thousand hours practicing your bad habits, you're going to be really good at those bad habits. One of the bad habits is uh, riding and then always having fingers on the on the on the brakes, always applying a little bit of brake here and there. That is a bad habit, and I used to do that until I had professional training. Now I have a full hand over here. Very important to remove some of these bad habits. You know, putting your foot down if you went from dirt to street, putting your foot down, your foot catches the asphalt. It's going to fling you back, cause you to possibly crash. So all these bad habits are bad. So what you need to do is get professional training, remove those bad habits if you've been riding for a while, or if you're brand new, once again, get a jump start, get professional training at an MSF course, Ride Arizona MTC. I'm actually on my way out there right now to go film some stuff, so stay tuned for that. And uh, that way you get some good skills. You start practicing the good skills. You're, you're, you're in a position of, of, of now building upon a good foundation, not a bad foundation. So it's very important, and you need to have professional instructors. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an MSF coach. Um, I'm still in the process. I've only taught a few classes here and there, but Trina and Steve and a bunch of others over at Ride Arizona NTC, professionals, absolute professionals. Swing on by if you're in Arizona. Phoenix, Casa Grande, uh, Tucson, Marana, Sierra Vista. There's, there's so much out there, okay? So make sure you swing on by. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, my, my family member is, is a professional, and you know I think they're professional, and they're teaching me how to ride. That's great and all. That's great and all. But here's the thing is I'm an MSF rider coach and I and I try to teach my wife and there's just something there when it comes to her learning from somebody else. Her learning from from I mean 
with, with all the stuff I have here, but like, you know how it is? Like, if you listen to a family member, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But then you listen to a stranger and they say the same thing. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, that clicks. Same thing. Okay, so definitely go take a class. Take as many classes as you can. And then apply that when you go riding. So don't just go like, I'm going to take a class, never ride. Take another class, never ride. Take a class. Don't do that. Take a class, practice it out on the road, practice it out in real life, go back to another class, get some more skills, take an advanced class then, and do all those other things. That's super important, very important. Get professional training. All right? All right. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I'll see you guys later. Remember, stay alert, stay alive. Yeah, 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 y